Hello everybody and welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake and if you are just tuning in, go back a couple videos and you will see me get this brand new Easton Made splitter into the wood yard for the first time and split a heck of a lot of wood with it with two good friends. Um, Chris is not with me today, but I am out here and uh, I am planning to cut up and split a little bit of wood this afternoon. I got home a little bit later this afternoon. I had to stop on my way home from work to look at a nice tree job. Um, it's going to be a bunch of removals for the customer. They're gonna be doing a massive renovation on the house. Needs to take down a bunch of trees that are gonna be in the way. Um, a lot of sugar maple, Norway maple, silver maple, a little bit of cherry, and a couple others. Um, so a lot of good wood that could potentially be coming back to the wood yard. Um, let me flip the camera around and show you what we got going on for today. So like I said, if you didn't see when I got the new Easton May 2228 splitter with attached 16 foot conveyor, head back into the videos. I'll put a link um, up in the corner or something. Um, but we are going to be using this thing here today, pretty shortly, I think. Uh, I just got back from work, like I said, and I hopped on the tractor and finally moved my cutting logs. They were up over there behind the uh, tractor bucket, and I brought them down because we finally got rid of all of the logs from the Woodyard expansion, uh, which is another pretty great series. I put together an awesome playlist from when all of this was woods till now. Um, so go check that out as well. But these are my cutting logs. If you're new to the channel and not familiar, I basically grab logs off my pile. I buck them up on here. That way I can just cut straight through them and they're fully supported by uh, these logs and I can cut right through them and basically, uh, you know, don't have to worry about burying my bar of the 500i in asphalt millings. So my plan for today is to use the tractor and the wicked grapple and we're gonna head over here to the log pile. Now, the majority of this log pile here is all ash and it's all been sitting there forever. This whole log pile was over where the conveyor is coming out for about two years and I just never got to it because I, I was always getting new green logs in and wanted to get those bucked up and processed and split. Um, that way they could get to drying, which I have accomplished because I have over 70 full baskets right now or totes. Um, but this is mostly ash except for these like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hickory logs here. Now, all of these hickory logs have massive splits and checks on the end. Um, they have been dry and cut, or not dry, but cut for quite some time and have been drying, believe it or not. Um, oh, there's even a couple more up here. This one has a massive crack going in. I don't even know if that one needs to be split. Um, but I recently just picked up a new firewood uh, client, I guess you could say. And they are a local brewery. I'll put a little clip of me delivering their first uh, tote of firewood for me right here. All right, guys, we are at Space Cap Brewery here in Norwalk, Connecticut, and they decided to purchase some firewood. So we got the first tote that we're bringing them. Um, they got a bunch of fire pits outside. Sarah and I were here with some friends about a month ago and uh, witnessed the owner who's on the forklift uh, trying to start up a fire with some green wood. And when I saw him struggling with the green wood, I said, well, it looks like you could use some nice dry firewood. Um, and he said, we absolutely could. So it took him about a month to get through all that stuff, but now I got him a nice tote of super dry ash and maple. Um, they're going to try this toad out for the first time, and uh, they said they might even be interested in some cherry smoking wood. They have a pop-up barbecue event coming up. We're looking to feed about 500 people, so that could be quite a bit of cherry wood uh, that we could sell them. There we go, just like that. Doesn't get any easier. And basically, um, they had a firewood supplier and weren't happy with the wood that they were getting. It was all wet, it was all green. They couldn't light up their firewood um, in their fire pits and everything over the winter time. Big disappointment. I told them I could help them out. So that was me delivering their first basket of firewood. They also told me on that first delivery that they're gonna be doing some uh, barbecue smoking events over the summer and they'd like smoking wood. I told them I have smoking wood because over here, 
I have a bunch of cherry, and that's exactly what they wanted. They said the barbecue uh, company that they're using for these pop-up events wants cherry, um, so I have, I think there's like six totes of cherry, yeah. I think I think it's about six totes of cherry. Um, I also have some totes of hickory, I have totes of oak, um, but I figured might as well get this hickory split up uh, just in case they want a mix of cherry, hickory, you know, whatever. Um, and this stuff should be able to dry out pretty darn quick. I'm hoping because it's been cut for like two years, just sitting up off the ground in a pile. So long story short, I'm going to grab these logs with the wicked grapple, put them on my little bucking station over here. We'll cut up two, three, four, I don't know, maybe all seven logs. We'll see how I'm feeling and then, uh, start splitting them on the Easton May 2228. Um, now I have the seven way box wedge in there, so that should make pretty nice splits. I'm definitely going to split it a little bit, you know, smaller, not like huge chunks, but this thing was putting out pretty nice sized pieces. So that's the game plan. Here we go. took less than two minutes to get a fire going like this. Uh, got three tops of stuff to burn up and the wheelbarrow over here for kindling pieces. So you can uh, kind of kill three birds with one stone here. guys we got that cut up lickety split um, this hickory is pretty dry I could just tell by how the uh, saw was cutting through it it uh, it's some tough stuff you know this is uh, shag bark hickory it um, typically is pretty tough and stringy to split when green um, generally, from my experience, I found that it's uh, 
a little bit easier to split when dry like this. Um, I can tell it's pretty dry just because of the hardness of it and it's actually relatively light for hickory. If you've split hickory before, you know it's definitely on the heavier side. Um, 500i needs a, a good sharpening, a well-deserved sharpening, I should say. Um, I think we cut up, if you guys have been following along, that pretty much that whole pile um, of woodyard expansion wood. I remember I, I sharpened the saw after we did all the cutting. And then I think I only have sharpened it maybe twice throughout the whole throughout the whole cutting process there of uh, of cutting and splitting up all of that wood. And I think there was probably at least four to five cords at least, maybe maybe five or six cords of wood in that whole pile. I'd have to count up all the totes, but um, Regardless of that, we got it all split up. We got a real nice pile of hickory here. Um, I'm very curious to see how it's gonna go through on the box wedge on the uh, Easton Made splitter here. Burning up a, uh, a bunch of these scraps over here. A lot of the scraps are just bark from the tulip and uh, some stringy pieces from the white oak. So we're gonna fire up the machine and uh, see how it does.
Well, guys, that took 20 minutes. Um, totally by myself, moving cameras around, negotiating the tote to try and get it to fill up as evenly as possible, pulling bark out. Um, one of the downfalls about this stuff being as old as it is, is that the bark is just, you know, like, first of all, it's shag bark hickory, so it has it in the name. The bark is shaggy. But, uh, you know, the, the bark is is just falling off, you know, as you can see. Um, which is good, because that'll help it dry out faster. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it made some really nice size wood. I think this will be perfect stuff for uh, somebody that was doing, like, smoking barbecue. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that, and that couldn't have been any easier. Uh, normally, a tote, you know, would take me... 35 to 40 minutes um maybe like 30 minutes with chris um but this this machine's fast i uh i will 100 percent give it that um so the nice thing about going into the, into the totes is that most of the wood lands right into the tote um just picking up a couple of the pieces stacking them up top that way you got it as full as possible and uh yeah there we go let me grab the camera so so here is our full tote stacked well above top probably about two feet up above the top and uh yeah so get this toad out of here and uh bring in the next in typical dude ranch fashion gonna label up this tote i just write the species and the month and year it was split that way i know and if there's uh one of these panels on both sides i do it on both sides Okay guys, Sarah just got home from work and she uh, has been itching to try the new Issa Made Splitter, I've right? I've never tried one before. Yeah, well, you tried uh, Todd's when it was here, remember? I think you, oh, a couple like times, but that doesn't really yeah. count. Cause now that, now cause now we have marks. one. Yeah, exactly. So um, I already split up one toe to Hickory, really nice stuff. Hopefully this will go for smoking wood for that new brewery that we dropped uh, the wood off yeah. to the other day. New client. Yeah, what are you looking at over here? You keep looking over this way. I'm just staring and admiring it. Admiring the, yeah. <laughs> the big conveyor and everything, huh? Yeah. All right, it's so I just... bigger than the other one. Much bigger. Yeah, bigger is better, right? Way better. Yeah. I hear it's fast. It is fast. Lightning fast. We can probably get this tote done in under 20 minutes with the two of us. I just right. did a tote by myself, and it took me 20 minutes. All right, let's do it. You know right. I love fast and efficient. Yeah, because you want to take the dogs for a walk, right? Yeah. It's a beautiful day. It's getting late. We still got to eat dinner, but we will let you try it out for the first time. So I stacked up all the rounds over there. You're going to come over to the other side. What's my job? Your job is basically just going to be pushing these two levers every time it comes back to this position. Seems easy enough. Yeah, not too bad, right? Nope. Okay, put on your ear protection. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to fire it up and we'll get going. Let's do it.
Yeah, it's a big full tow, right? Yeah, how long? That took, we started at 6.35 and it is 6.52. So less than 20 minutes? Less than 20 minutes. We did it. Good job. That was fun. That was easy. Yeah. I feel like anyone could split wood with this. Yeah, it's, I mean, and all you got to do is have it cut up and splitting is the easy part. Yeah. And the fast part. While you're at work. During your lunch break? Yeah. Alright, let's go check out the tote. Right. It's taller than you are. Stand next to it. <laughs> that doesn't say much. That doesn't say much at all. But that is a nice heaping tote of hickory wood. You see we gotta pick up a little bit on the ground, but I even started standing up the pieces, hoping that we would get all the rounds in, but we have just a couple left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more hickory rounds. Um, so we got two really nice full totes of hickory and I think this stuff is pretty dry. So um, that's pretty good. Okay, good job. We did good. What do you think of your first run on the East Made 2228? Pretty impressive. I think I'd use it again. Would you? Yeah. Would you come out and help me now? Yeah. As long as I do all the heavy lifting? Yep. Well, that's, that's quite all right. It goes, it, it honestly goes. It makes it quite easy. As fast as this machine is, it goes even faster with two people. And we, yesterday, or the other day, when we had three people, it was like it, everything was getting cleaned up. The tote was getting organized. It was getting loaded. And one person could just focus on each task at hand. Um, but this thing is crazy, guys. Uh, it split up this hickory no problem really nice pretty clean splits again i think that's because it's as dry as it was this stuff has been sitting here for like two years oh, remember the really? pile it was it was all over here oh. um so it was pretty dry stuff as far as hickory goes you know for being in log form and getting cut up today um trick to the box wedge i think i found out is to get nice even clean splits is your gut your cuts gotta be straight gotta they can't be. be on an angle because if they're on an angle then they're gonna cut they're gonna like make that wood want to plunge and it's gonna want to the top of the box wedge is gonna want to cut off that back corner I learned that just in the you know first two or three hours that I've been splitting out here so that was something I was a little bit worried about uh, having seen other people run the box wedge but today with the hickory if it was gonna do it on any species I think it would be like hickory or elm and it did a pretty good job so good. I'm super happy I can't wait to keep using this I'm excited that Sarah is excited to maybe keep using it. I'm excited that <laughs> it takes much less time. Now we have time to go right. walk the dogs. More family time. Yes. Yeah. Leading up to the wedding, we need as much extra time not splitting wood and yes. wedding planning. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> as possible. So the uh, the Jake and Sarah wedding is brought to you by Andrew Easton <laughs> and Easton made log splitters, saving your husband time from being in the wood yard. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We are getting super close to 10,000 subscribers. If by the time this video is posted, we might have already hit 10,000. I think we're like 20 subscribers away. But regardless, there's always a new goal set. So if you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button down below. We're going to keep bringing you awesome East of May 2228 action, tree climbing action, you name it, we're going to bring it to you. Um, any questions, comments, or feedback about the machine or anything you know you saw here today or on the channel at all, put it down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. I'm Sarah. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time. See ya.